Have you ever wondered what it takes to run a county? These are the hardworking men and women that do the tough jobs that help keep El Paso County moving. In this episode, El Paso County Public Works reclaims a gravel road to make your commute smoother and a little less dusty. A lot of us are multitasking. If I can make the roads better, make it easier for people to get to and from work, that's what I'm here for. Let's hit the road with El Paso County Public Works. This is Tough Jobs. Hey Robert, thanks for having us today. Hey guys, Lauren Tossinson with the Public Information Office and we are out in Eastern El Paso County with our Department of Public Works. This is Robert Evans, your Highway Superintendent and we are out here doing road reclamations. And we're gonna take a look at this, uh, so let's go check it out. So what we're doing is injecting this chemical instead of spraying it on top and gets it deeper into the road. The reclaimer mills the road using a hydrostatic rotor drive that cuts effortlessly down into the roadbed. The gravel is redirected into the mixer where a special water and magnesium chloride mixture is blended into the dirt, then is deposited back on the road. A stable road base requires maximum density, and moisture control is the key to density. The mixture of magnesium chloride is pumped to the reclaimer from the truck in front. The mag chloride absorbs moisture from air and surroundings and retains moisture for prolonged periods. This property helps to hold down dust and stabilize unpaved road surfaces, creating a smooth riding road that lasts. So, uh, so it hardens the surface. It hardens the surface. And, and the deeper you can get that hardening effect, the longer your road's going to last. So that's why mixing it into the material at three inches, you're going to get a hardening effect of three inches instead right. of shooting it on the top of the, right. of the road, you may only get an inch. A fleet of rollers follow behind, compacting and shaping the road surface. We have two rollers, one's rubber tire and one's steel drum. And then we will have two graders after we're finished reclaiming. What is this called? It's a rubber tire roller. Um, it's one of the newer ones. It's pretty comfortable. Um, it actually weighs about 23,000 pounds, so almost as much as a tandem. I'm going to follow him, make sure that the, the gravel is compacted to where blades can come through, push over it, and uh, reshape the road. So how long did it take us to come a mile for the I, first pass? I didn't actually... I don't remember when we started either. I don't know when we started, but we can check this one and see okay. when we started. Hey, Dan, did you want me to come just finished one side of the road. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn all the machines around. We're going to come back up the middle part. And then when, once we get to the end again, we're going to turn around and do the third pass down the other side. But turning a convoy this size is no simple matter. Come on through. Like turning something this big around. 
Uh, it's not too bad, but it can be a little nerve wracking when you, you're in a tight spot because you have a lot of blind spots. This side here, it, it steers the machine. This machine articulates in the front here. So this is going to steer this front piece. Now it also has the option back here, these three green buttons steer the rear. So it steers for wit, you know, the, the rear wheels will steer and so will the front. So when this guy runs out, you'll plug into that? Uh, the that's truck? the water. So he's spraying oh, okay. water on top. Oh, okay. Once he runs out, we have another truck just like this one that'll come and hook to him. It supplies the uh, chemical from the tank on the truck to the machine. And this just popped off? Yeah, we, uh, we had a snafu and pulled the hose off the fitting. And that happens, right? It does happen once in a while. Not very often, but it does happen. That's why we've got the tools and the extra fittings. We're going to go three inches down. And then i got to make sure I set my... This, this controls how much material I'm putting in as far as the dust control or the, the chemical. So I gotta get that set and then as soon as I go, this will this is my what I'm wanting and then you'll see it start to calculate. So one of the biggest things means to a dirt road is the weather, the point like the snow, and, you know, you're plowing snow on the dirt road, that's hard on them. You get a big rainstorm, it wants to wash it away. So we're, gonna, we're trying to make it hard so that when we have those events, that doesn't happen, that these roads stay, whether it rains, snows, when that event's over, we clear the snow or whatever, that road's still hard and smooth. That's the whole goal of this. And no matter what you do, there's gonna be a life of this of a road. All we're doing with this machine prolong that life by a, a lot longer span so that our graders can be out on other roads that need attention and not on one road constantly trying to fix that problem road. the hardest part of operating of your job whether just like the team as a whole or you specifically oh uh, probably the logistics just coordinating everybody doing everything everybody knowing what they're supposed to be doing once you get people that have done it and you get them trained on what we're doing it goes pretty smooth but when you have new people and stuff so logistics is tough what is the hardest part about your job um well no actually um a lot of us are multitaskers. So a lot of us run the loaders, we run the backhoes, we do the tandems, we do plowing during the winter, we do pretty much everything. I guess what I'd like them to know is that we're actually out here for them. We're out here to try to make these roads better every way possible. And uh, that's my goal anyways, that's why I'm out here. Is if I can make a road better and make it easier for people to get to and from work and actually have a good commute, especially on a dirt road, a nice smooth commute. That's what I'm here for. You guys have been out here since about 8 o'clock this morning, but how long does a job like this take? We normally can do two miles per day with the whole reclamation crew, so it's about two miles per day we can get done. So we've got about 1,100 miles of unpaved road in the county, right? Yes. So if you do the math on that, that's like 550 days of straight work if you guys were going to get to everything. Right. Wow.
information and it's been pretty cool to watch these crews get to work out here so next time you're out on a gravel road or an unpaved road in the county and you see these big machines you're going to know exactly what they're up to thanks for watching Rapid, 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 rapid.